So this will be a dream video card for sure, an NVIDIA RTX 1590 with 128 gigabytes of VRAM, but, but, it costs $13,000 US. Remember, if you enjoy this content, you can throw me a thanks. It's completely free by doing everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe, of course, hit the notification bell and comment. Do you remember not too long ago when the RTX 9070, the plain Jane version of it, when it first came out and scalpers were trying to sell them for $15,000 on eBay? Yep. Well, you can get one now for $13,000 and this one is not plain Jane. No, it has 128 gigabytes of VRAM. However, I think you could only get this in China. This is a prototype as well. And it has GDDR7X memory, and that stuff is not available to the public. So, yeah, like I mentioned, this would be a dream video card as long as someone got it for you and you didn't have to buy it yourself. But this is not really for gaming. Guess which market it's for. This is not for gaming. Rather, this is for AI workloads. And I know what you're thinking. This has to be some kind of a custom thing, right? Yes. Yes, it is. It has a custom printed circuit board and its own firmware. This is a prime example of a modder, well, just being a modder, doing their thing and pushing the envelope. And to be honest, it's refreshing. It's good to see that people have enough motivation, enough courage, and certainly lots of money to embark on an endeavor like this. Because, well, could you? Could I? Probably not. Probably not. You need to be set up for this. You need to have the skills and the know-how and the motivation to do it. But interesting, nonetheless, unrealistic for sure. But modders keep modding.